Well, I was just gonna go for a ride on the trails and I got a flat tire. I guess I got something I gotta take care of. Now, I have never changed a back tire on a bike before, so we're gonna do that today. All right, so first step, I have to turn the bike over. I was gonna use my bike stand, but uh, it's best to turn the bike upside down for this, so I'm not gonna use my bike stand. And if you've been watching my videos, this is what happened last time I used my bike stand. So I'll save that for another time. All right, let's get this bike turned over. Okay, first step to removing the tire is you gotta, you have to separate these. There we are. Now I have to get rid of this little this little zip tie right here. So I'm gonna cut that and be very careful not to cut any cords. All right, and then lift this to the side. Next, I'm gonna take this wire out of the way. Gotta loosen this up, and then I gotta pay attention to this washer right here. It has to go in the same position when I'm putting this tire back on. So I'm gonna loosen this up, and I should be able to just pull the tire right off. And then here on the other side, loosen this up right here. And then I gotta make sure that that washer is in the same position. So I'm gonna be using the tool that came with the Event and Adventure to be loosening this. Now for the other side, move this brake line out of the way. Now that that's loosened, let's pull this tire off. So I got this patch repair kit. Inside it comes with the little tools to help take the tire off. You know, patches of all different sizes and the glue. Let's do this. Alright, I don't see a hole anywhere in here. You know, there's still a little bit of air in here. I'm trying to listen for leaks. I don't I don't hear anything. I'm not quite sure what to do, so I'm now gonna submerge this in some water, see if I can see some bubbles coming up. I just looked over this entire tire. I saw no bubbles coming out of any single spot. You could see bubbles all along the seam. I guess that's what you get when you have made in China tires. So I think I'm just gonna have to replace this tube entirely. So let's do that. Got my replacement tube right here. It's a different nozzle than I had before. I'm pretty sure I have the adapter for that. You know what, before I put this tube in, I'm gonna double check the inside of this tire, see if I could see anything as to where this happened, if there's any sticking out wires of the tire, or anything like that. Let's check the other side just to be sure. Tire looks good to me. On the tire where it says the PSI and how much you should fill this to, you should also put the valve right over there for your tire. I want to line this to the hole, obviously. I am not quite sure how to get this last little bit over the rim. Thousands of tears later. My gosh, 
that was tough. All right, now I gotta inflate the tire and I gotta find my Schrader valve adapter for my pump. Okay, so I went to my local bike shop, JRA, and I picked up a new bike pump. I needed a uh, Presto valve. This looks like the one. Okay, once you pump it up halfway, you wanna make sure it's all seated correctly. Make sure it's in the middle. Make sure it's good. Let's finish pumping this up. sure that those washers were facing the correct way. Time to tighten these up. All right, let's take this for a little spin, see how it feels. My tire is good to go. I replaced it and we're up and ready for another mountain biking trip. And that is how you change an Aventon Adventure rear tire. Thank you for hanging with Zanin.